Spectators and television viewers watch big-name Polish and Ukrainian players battle it out at Krakow's Tauron Arena in the exhibition match to benefit Ukraine. Polish tennis star Iga Sviatek, ranked number one in the world, organized the July 23rd event to raise money for young Ukrainians affected by the war. Ukraine's top tennis player Alina Svitolina, who is pregnant, judged the match. I feel like that's very few people and very few countries really understand the, the horrible thing what is happening, the horrible war that is happening in Ukraine and for us um, it's very important these kind of events where we can speak to the people that we can join and unite all together for the help of the people who are in need and hopefully one day we can celebrate the, the win of Ukraine. Sergei Stachowski is a former professional tennis player from Ukraine who retired this year to join the army after the Russian invasion. He expressed concern that the world's attention on the war is fading. We're trying to raise awareness, we're trying to build up something that uh, will continue to talk about Ukrainian war because the war is still on, it's a full scale and, and the intensity is quite high. Uh, we need any support we can get. Former professional soccer player and the head coach of the Ukrainian national team, Andriy Shevchenko, appeared as a special guest. He is an ambassador for United24, Ukraine's official global initiative to help restore and develop the country. My duty, I, I want to help my country. I think that, that we just have to keep it awareness about what's going on and uh, exactly truth and uh, speak loud, uh, talk the truth to the people about this war, about Russian aggression. Shevchenko said even though the world has responded to the war in Ukraine, more help is needed. Yaroslava Hres is a coordinator for United24. It's not so easy to ask people again and again to donate. So this is a new way of fundraising. Tennis lovers indeed packed the arena and the event raised more than half a million dollars for Ukraine. Moroslava Gongadze, BOA News, Krakow. Poland.